Hi, I'm going to show you how to do the electrons and coulombs do now. Um, in class, we talked about elementary charges, which um, we can find in the reference table right here. Elementary charges use the symbol lowercase e and stand for a value of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. But when we're talking about elementary charges, what we're talking about is like a single charge. So an electron, um, for instance, would be an elementary charge. If it's a positive charge, we might also use elementary charges. We usually use these for like small amounts of charge. So if we're talking about a handful of electrons, we're gonna use elementary charges. However, later we're gonna learn more about electricity and when the electricity is flowing through like a copper wire, for instance. And in those instances, we're gonna be talking about a lot of elementary charges, specifically electrons moving through something. So in that case, we aren't going to be measuring in elementary charges, we're going to be measuring in coulombs. Um, so one coulomb, if you notice, is 6.25 times 10 to the 18 elementary charges. So this is a really, really big number of elementary charges that make up one coulomb. So one coulomb is often used for a lot of charges that are moving at once. So this is like a large quantity. Um, so depending on what you're doing with electricity, you might be using elementary charges or coulombs, and it is common to have to convert between the two, which gets to the heart of this do now. So let's read the first part. It says an oil drop has a charge of 9.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulomb. How many excess electrons does the oil drop have? All right, so... We are converting from coulombs to electrons or elementary charges. So when we set it up, I'm going to set it up just like we would for dimensional analysis, um, coulombs, and we need to set it up with a ratio. So it doesn't matter which ratio we use, but we have to put coulombs in the denominator and elementary charges in the numerator. So technically, you could use you know either elementary charge ratio, the small one, or the large ratio. For me personally, I like to put one in the denominator and then use whatever ratio that is. So one coulomb, for instance, this one right here, is 6.25 times 10 to the 18. So I like setting it up that way because coulombs, I cancel out with coulombs, and since it's a one, we just multiply straight across in our calculator and then we get the answer. Um, and I, of course, did not bring my calculator over here, so I'll just do it real quick online um, and we do it this way so it's going to be six elementary charges so I like to set it up that way you could put one elementary charge is the same thing as 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 in the denominator the only thing is then you would have to put parentheses around the whole thing when you divide but you can do it either way either way would work um, so the same idea with this next one, it says an oil drop has 18.75 times 10 to the 18 elementary charges. How much charge in coulombs does it have? So we are given 18.75 E, and to set up this ratio, we have to put E in the denominator and coulombs on top. So again, I like to put 1 in the denominator, so if I do that, that means I need to use this ratio here, so then I get 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. So E cancels out with E. We multiply that straight across. And when we do that, again, I'm just going to use my computer real quick. Um, and then that gives us our answer in coulombs. So in this case, it would be 3 coulombs. So that's basically how you do it. And you could use either ratio. You just need to set it up correctly and find a way that works best for you. But the answers for these two is six elementary charges and three coulombs.